Hey everyone, welcome again. In this Python tutorial, we are going to learn about the file IO in Python. Now what exactly file IO is? File IO stands for file input output and in many situations you will be requiring to write to a particular file or read from a particular file, right? So say for example, there is a particular data that you are storing in a variable or there is function that is returning a list, say for example, and you want to write it and then refer to that particular data data from the written file. So how you can write it and then refer that data back in future programs, that's what file IO or input output will help us to achieve. Now, writing a file within Python is very, very simple task. There are methods, functions available out of the box. We just need to know how to use them, okay? The same way as when we do the manual opening of the, of the file, writing to a file and then saving it and closing the file, the same operations we can replicate into the Python programming. So if we go through the manual steps, so let me quickly copy these key points that I have made and create a new package. So I'll say file IO demo. So in this package, I'll demo all the file operations. I'll create a Python file. So I'll say write demo. So in this particular file, let me paste everything here. And here, if you see the manual steps, right? So usually whenever you are trying to write to a particular file, what you will do, say for example, you will open a notepad and you will type in certain data there, right? So you will say uh, open notepad. So search for notepad and we'll open notepad. We'll write certain data there. So this is test data and then we'll save it, right? So we'll save this particular file, which is basically opening notepad and creating a file. So when we say create file, we'll be saving it. Um, and then we'll close it. So we can simply say save as and save this particular file. Okay. So for example, test file. Okay. So now this opening of the notepad, we have created the file, we have written into the file and then we can close the file. So we'll simply close the file. So these are general steps that we follow manually when we are trying to write a file. Okay. Now in Python, we will follow similar steps, but we'll use the methods functions available within the Python package, right? And here I'll explain these modes in just a moment. So now we'll follow similar steps when we try to write the file. Now, so for example, I want to write a file. So there is a function open in Python. So if you go to the documentation, just for the search for the Python documentation on google.com and go to the tutorial section. In the tutorial section, we'll go to the reading and writing file section. And here, if you see that this is the method open, open is the method which um, takes the arguments, the file name, the name of the file that you want to save, and then the mode. So this is the mode. So when we say mode W, R, R plus or A, these modes are basically uh, which specify to this particular open method or function, whether you want to write to a particular file. So if you want to write to a particular file, the mode is write a W. If you want to read, the mode is R. If you want to read and write, the mode is R plus, as you see here. And if you want to append to a file, the mode is A. Right. So these are the two arguments that you need to remember. So basically the file name, the name of the file where you want to write and the mode. Okay. And this open function or method will return a file object, which you can use to write to a particular file. Let's see how we can use it. Okay. So if we say simply say, I'll create a variable F, okay, which will be holding a file object and we'll say open. Okay. And in open, we'll simply say the name of the file where we want to write. Okay. So I'll simply say write demo dot txt. So this is the file in which we want to write. And then we have to specify the mode, the second argument, right? So this mode, so if, so for example, because we are writing to a file, so we have to provide the mode as w, right? So now this particular open function, we have provided the name of the file where we want to write and the mode as w. So now if we use this object, so basically this will return an object file object, which is stored or which is referenced by this F. Okay. So if we say F dot, we can access all the methods that we can use. So we can see that we have this F dot right, right? So we can simply use the method F dot right, and we can specify whatever we want to write in this particular write demo dot txt file. So we can say this is 
first line okay so this is the text that we want to write in this particular file and after writing we want to close the file as well right so we have to make sure that we close the file as well after writing so we simply call f dot close function so this will close this particular file so these are the only steps on the very basic note how to write to a particular file in python and this will basically create a file or open the file save the file as write demo.txt and then write this particular text and close the file so if you run this you will see the write demo.txt file got created in this file io demo right so if you do not provide the specific location of this particular file so as you see that this is this name that we have provided so what by default this will do is it will create the file at the same location where your program is right so you can see write demo and it has this is first line has been created if you want to save this file or create this file at a very specific location then we can provide this so for example i want to store this particular file at c uh, python selenium and file io folder so i'll simply copy this location and let's provide this particular location here okay so now you have to make sure that you have to specify double black backslash and then run this particular program so now what will happen is this write demo.txt file will get created in file io so if i go to that particular folder so this is the folder it is uh, currently blank right um, let's run the program and see that the file gets created so it has run successfully if i open you can see that write demo.txt has been created and this is the text that is available in this particular file okay so this is how you will create a file at a specific location now this is very basic program just to explain you how you will write data into a particular file in the actual scenario say for example um, you are trying to access certain data from the website and you want to and that data you are storing in a list okay so say for example you are doing something you are saying l is the list which holds certain data so which is basically holding certain numbers there and this is basically this list is coming dynamically from the previous method that you are executing and now you want to write this particular data into a file okay so how you can use it so now we'll use the same thing so we have basically used the open method here so let me comment this out so we'll simply say we'll first use the open method right and we'll specify the file name let's write at the same location okay and i'll rename this file so we'll simply say write demo one and the mode we have to specify right so we'll specify the mode now this particular list i want to write to this particular file so i will simply say for items in list right so list is held into the variable l so i'll say for items in this particular list i will say f dot write and i will say the elements right so i'll say write the items into this particular file that we have opened right so we have opened the file which has returned the object which is stored into f and we are saying f dot write the items that are there in the list with the for loop and then we have to basically close right so we'll say f dot close the file so once all the items are written we'll close okay now one more thing you have to remember here that when we say f dot write this function only accepts string okay so whenever you're writing to a file you have to make sure that you're passing strings so you have to type cast this to string okay so you, you have to say whatever items you are getting from the list you have to make sure that you type cast to the string and then write okay so this is how you you will write so if i run this now and go to that same location you will see write demo.txt has been written and all the numbers have been written here okay now you can see everything has been written in the single line if i want to change the line i can simply pass or i can say append here so i can say plus and just append a new line there right so i can say backslash n okay so what will happen is it as soon as it will print one of the item it will print a new line and it will move to the new line and it will print these items into the new line okay so if i run this now and go to the location here let's check this particular file you will see that it has printed into the separate lines all these elements that are coming out of the list all right so this is about writing to a file in python now we have seen about the write mode now say for example you want to you do not want to overwrite the content of the file you want to append so simply change the mode 
to A. And if I run this program again and go to the file, you will see the items have been appended here, right? So it will keep appending the items into this particular file if you do not want to override. Okay, so the write mode will override the content in the particular file. Append mode will basically append into the same file and it won't override the existing content of the file. Okay, so we have seen about the write mode, append mode. We'll look at the read write mode and the read mode in the next tutorial when we discuss about the how to read the data from a file into Python. So that's all for this tutorial on how to write the data into the file in Python. I hope it was helpful. Thank you very much for watching.